You mentioned the ladies, the hot ladies in the front row. Yeah. So Sarah and I love this one yesterday. So we're flying home. First of all, I'll tell it a little out of order. I'll Tarantino it up a little bit. Because we ended up ending the trip in Norway, Bergen, Norway. Third time in Bergen, Norway in uh, 11 months. Yes. I've been to Bergen more times than I've been to my parents' house this year. Wow. It's a little strange. I don't know what that says about the relish. I don't know either. But this, you know, Christopher, he's a big fan of the show, loves the show. He wants you over there. Have you done it? I can't even I'm remember. Not, I'm looking for some dates. I can't put it together. Yeah, it's uh, it's something. It's, uh, it's something. All right. But so we do the show. Now... I'll never do this again. In my mind, you have that thing where you go, we were on vacation. We went to London. I did the Soho Theater. I'll get into that. Some Tuesdays were there. It's pretty special. Uh Do the Soho Theater. Then we go to Wales on vacation for five days. Then we tack on. You can't tack on to a vacation. It's no good. No good? Because it's looming. You know Ah, what I mean? And once you're on at the end of a vacation, you have that feel. We talked about it earlier. You're like, I got to get back. I haven't done a show. I haven't tweeted. I'm gay. Right. You got to go back home and and reacclimate. Yes. So right at the end of a vacation, it's a lot because you're like, you feel relaxed. I got my feet up. I'm drinking tea every day. I was listening to Into the Mystic while drinking tea and looking out at the woods. It was like unbelievable. Van the man. But that can only last for a few days. Then you're like, I got to go back to work. Right. So we go back to work, but it's in Norway. So you're a little, you're tired, and it feels like you're still pressured to go see shit a little bit, and yeah. it's uh, you're doing shows in a foreign language, the whole thing. So, or in their foreign language to them, I'm yeah. not doing the show in Norwegian. Uh huh. So, anyways, we're getting the last, the night before, we're finally leaving. It's a ten day trip. We're exhausted, just beat up. You know, we get through the shows, and it's like twelve fifteen a.m. I've already taken a Tylenol PM. Our flight leaves at. Five o'clock the next evening. Okay, plenty and of time. so you're like, we're gonna wake, we're gonna sleep in, wake up, have the breakfast, the whole thing. And Sarah, I just hear Sarah. I'm in the bathroom brushing my dick, and I just hear Sarah go, "Oh my God, did you see this? Uh-oh. Did you see this? Oh God!" And I thought someone died. Yeah. And Sarah has a habit of doing this sometimes. Well, she'll keep reacting without saying what the thing is. Ah, uh, that's horrible and for I, you. I know, I know, I know. She goes, oh, my God, this is crazy. Oh, my God. And I'm going, what the fuck? Is my parents dead? Is my dad, you know, yeah, fucking whatever? Yeah. Sit, spit it out. I whore. go, what is it? And then Come she on. goes, oh, a boat crashed in Fiji, and six of them were oh, threw yeah. up. And I, I go, heard. I don't give a fuck about the b- boat. Yeah, what? Yeah, I like the water. I don't give a shit. But this one, she goes, did you see this? And I go, what is it? And now I'm doing this downtime on the phone i'm trying to fucking get off my fucking phone yeah so it doesn't i don't my phone is off from 11 p.m to 8 a.m not off but uh you know there's a couple apps i still use yeah. but anyways so i go i haven't seen anything and it's a message saying our flight is canceled our flight from oslo to new york city has just been canceled norwegian air last time i did this gig we talked about how shitty norwegian air worst airline in the history of fucking airlines wow they stink great country great club Shit airline. How about that? And uh, and I, I love this guy, Christopher. He's the he's the best. He's a big fan. I love him. I love the room. Everyone should do it and go see it if you're in the area. But I'll never let someone else book my flight. I hate having someone oh, else book yeah, the flight. Like I'm on Norwegian. I got a middle seat. We're separate. We flew Wiz Air to from Wiz. London. Wiz. I don't know. That's a that's a Black Wizard of Oz. It's some Europe shit. It's purple. What? We had to go check our bag. It's it's crazy. You can smoke on the plane. The pilot, you know, is fucking a child. <laughs> it's called Wiz, for God's sake. Yeah, yeah. I got to take one. Uh, so I, I got to leave them out of my will or something. Yeah. Sorry, I'm on four hours sleep. I got Jeez nothing. Jeez, Wiz <laughs> was good. <laughs> So there, I got. I'm all over the place. But we're in London. We're flying to uh, Norway. I go to check my bag. It costs money to check your bag, ah, which is frustrating. This sounds like the spirit of Europe. Exactly, the spirit of Europe. That sounds like a ship. Oh, yeah. So I, <laughs> I, 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 I go up, and the lady says, "No, it's going to cost you eighty bucks. We we weigh the bag. You can get a ten kilogram bag for thirty bucks, but a twenty kilogram bag is eighty bucks." Okay. And anything over 10, you have to pay for the 20. So oh. my bag is 13 kilograms. Ah. So instead of 30, I got to pay 80. It's 50 more bucks for the 3 kilograms. Wow. So I'm taking out my shorts and sticking them up on my wife's ass. Yeah. I'm, I'm wearing three hats. I got two pairs of shoes Good on the same foot. Fuck them. I'm trying to, trying to get it down. 
I couldn't get it down. What? It was like a hard on when you're 12. Oh. I, no matter what I did, I, I jerked off five times, couldn't get it to go down. Call a doctor if it lasts more than four hours. I finally got to 11 kilograms, but the flight's leaving soon. The whiz isn't going to wait. You, you don't wait for a whiz. You can't. Nothing can stop the whiz. <laughs> You're wearing three tuxedos, a straw hat, and a, and a, a diving belt. I had everything. I was. I had magnets. And I turned into <laughs> earrings. I just. I was, it was crazy. <laughs> so uh, my wife's. She's got three fucking sheep stuck in her butthole. And yeah, yeah, bad. <laughs> this is a wolf in sheep's clothing. All right. <laughs> So I go, all right, I got to pay for the 20-ounce bag, you fucking piece God of shit. God damn. So she goes, I don't take money. I, I wanted to kill somebody. What is that? What do you shake? I Beads? <laughs> Doubloons? I had some of those in my ass, but that was for fun. I go to give her the card. She goes, I don't take money. You got to go over there. I go, what? Uh, go over there. And now Sarah's doing that thing. She's like, honey, no. You know, pulling oh, me back. I got the nice. little bit of Boston toot in me. I like it. And I'm going, what do you mean? I got to go over there? And there's a line over there. There's a line behind me. Flight's I waited leaving. in line to get here. Yes. And I go, what do you, you don't take the money. And she goes, we don't have the ability to take money here. And I'm trying not to lose my mind because you're in a foreign country. You try to, I try to represent America well. Yes. And so I'm on my best behavior always. But I go, so you take the bag, you weigh the bag, and you put the sticker on it, and then you throw it on. But you are not allowed to take money. Mm. You have to go over there to give the money. Yes. That is Absurd. It's that's silly. absurd, and she's just rolling around because she doesn't give a fuck. She has right, to, right. and I feel bad. It's not her fault or whatever. So I try to be, but you're like, all right, I'll be back. Yeah, but so if, I got to leave the line. Yes, walk to the other side of the airport, wait in that line, uh, then pay this lady money. Right. Then she gives me a fucking receipt, which is written with a hand. She just wrote down, paid for a bag. Uh, I got to walk all the way back, wait back in the same oh. line again, and talk to the same shithole. And go, all right, here's my bag. Here's my 11 ounce bag that costs 111 bucks. Then we get on the plane. I'm in seat 5B, middle seat. She's in 35F, also middle seat. Damn. I'm on the front. She's in the back. So if we die, we're not together. It's a whole thing. Who set this up? This is the Jeff guy? Jeff. Uh, Robert? Christopher. Christopher. <laughs> Great guy. Good guy. Fan of the show. Love the guy. I'm sorry, Chris, but I mean, you can't put a two Jews in the middle. They fucked me. They fucked you in the middle. <laughs> so I go, all right, all right. I better go to the Middle East. Which, by the way, last episode we did that I was in Bergen. We trashed the airline thing. You get me a shit airline then. So then. I take the R out of Norway. No way. Yes. I got you. Uh -huh. So anyways, I take the N out of uh, my penis. Yes. Pius. I don't Pia, know. That's what the Jews have, Pius. Is that right? <laughs> the pay, yeah. I don't know how they spell it. All right. Well, sorry I'm on no sleep. I'm doing my best. Hebrew. <clears throat> but anyways, so then cut to, that's that. Fl that's the flight to Norway. The flight home gets canceled, oh. which I never even heard of an international flight just getting canceled the day before. No. It's insane. He's like, I'm on the phone with them. I'm doing everything I can, but uh, I don't know where you're going to get out. But that's the earliest flight. The next flight is sold out. So Norway, Norwegian Air just fucks you. Yeah. And I go, I'm going home. I'm 10 days in here. We had the podcast today. I had therapy today. I haven't seen my therapist in seven weeks. I'm, sure. I'm going to have a fucking drink if I don't see him. Right. right. So I, I go, I got to go home. So I call Delta. Uh, so I don't call him. I go to the app and I book a flight. And I'm like, I don't care what this costs. I'm going home. We'll figure wow. it out later. What are you, nuts? Well, I, I'm like, I'll, I'll work it out with Christopher, I guess. I'm oh, like, give me yeah. the flight for the thing and whatever the fuck. But I got to go home. At some point... Money, if it costs 50 grand, I'm like, I have to go home. <laughs> I've been gone it. for too long, yeah. and I'm fucking tired, and it's just too much. I hear you. So I booked the flight. Now, my flight, I was supposed to fly from Bergen to Oslo, Oslo to JFK. Okay. My flight to Oslo to JFK gets canceled. Now, I've already taken a Tylenol PM. It's oh, 1 a.m. Oh, boy. So I'm like, I got to do all this before I fucking start falling asleep here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I go to Delta. I go, I don't care. The I'm not even looking at the money. I'm just booking it. And it's in Norwegian money. So it's like 18,000 oh, fucking NOK. God, I'm nervous. So I booked my flight, Oslo to JFK. I go, fuck it. It's done. Forget it. So you already had the Oslo. Or you had to do the both of them. So get okay, ready. Sorry, sorry. So I'm thinking, I lost my Oslo flight. I better book my Oslo flight. So I book a flight from Delta, Oslo, to Norway. Uh -huh. And the flight goes from Oslo to Amsterdam because uh -huh. it's KLM. Okay. Amsterdam's their hub. So I book a flight. It says, all right, you'll fly from Oslo 
to uh, Amsterdam, Amsterdam to JFK. I booked the flight. Then it says, hey, do you want premium seats for 89 bucks? And I go, oh, maybe I'll get some pre- 89 bucks. Yeah, you already spent an arm and an anal on the uh, original. Exactly. But then I realized this is how they get you. That's for the short flight, the flight oh! from Oslo to Amsterdam. So I go, I'm not falling for that. Yes. I'm too smart. And then I go, wait a minute. Oslo to Amsterdam. Oh, I'm in Bergen. I'm on ah! flights from Oslo to Amsterdam. I'm not in Oslo. Oh, God I'm in Bergen. It. Candace Bergen. I booked $2,000 tickets for the wrong city. Ah, you pulled a Norman. Because the flight was from... <laughs> He dropped the old C3. Oh, jeez. He's Poor been guy. jiggling the whole time. Oh, God. Well, he's, he's Norwegian. All right. R2, Brute. Yeah. <laughs> D2. So I was thinking the flight that got canceled was from Oslo to JFK, so I had Oslo in my head. So I, bu- I just went to Oslo. Oh, and, and in Norway, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on Tylenol PM. Oh, I've yeah. gone 10 days. I haven't slept. I fucking whatever. So I booked the flight from the wrong fucking city. So now I'm like, we got to get from Bergen to Oslo, Oslo to Amsterdam, Amsterdam to New York. Woo-wee. So I start looking at flights, and there's no flights. I'm like, maybe we'll rent a car and drive to the night. I've already taken a Tylenol PM. It's a six-hour ride to the mountains. Wow. So I've then been there. This is, where, this is where brand loyalty matters. Uh-huh. Because now I'm, uh-huh. I'm now platinum on Delta. I call. You get your own phone number. I just call up the lady, Jennifer from Delta. You're goddamn here. I wanted to eat this lady out from behind for an hour. Here, here. Immediately, I go, I, I, I just booked the wrong flight. It's 1 in the morning. I'm, I'm on Tylenol PM. My wife hates me. I go, can you help me out here? I got to get home. And she goes, well, let me see. You're in Bergen. This is not going to be a problem at all. Oh! She goes, we're going to get you right home. No oh, sweat. I'd love to hear that. So then she ends up booking me from Bergen. There happens to be a flight on KLM from Bergen to Amsterdam. I can keep the same flight from Amsterdam oh, to JFK. Okay. And my flight, the flight from Bergen to Amsterdam leaves at the same exact time that the flight from Oslo. Ten minute difference. Two o'clock, wow. two ten. So all that changes is I got to leave ten minutes earlier. Jennifer couldn't have been nicer. She's like, I'll call you right back. We'll make, work it all out. I just uh. hear that. I love that sound. I love you know? the tick, 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 tick. And uh, she, she took care of it, and then the whole thing. Wow. So I ended up flying on a better airline at a better, got in earlier on a better airline. Woo-wee. But man, it was, it was fucking something. Wow. It was stressful. No, I oh. mean, well done, Fatty. Is, is your lady sitting up going, come on, Joey? Yeah. She petting your leg and hugging your, your back and all that. I oh, mean, she, yeah. She'd be petting you the whole time. Well, she was on Twitter the whole time, but she was good. <laughs> she went, hey, you did it. Thanks for doing it. Good job, uh-huh. you know, Dad. But the reason I brought it up, and I'll get into the trip next week, but yeah. the reason I brought it up was the ladies, you mentioned the two hot chicks in Indianapolis. Sarah and I couldn't stop laughing. Yesterday, we get on the flight, finally, the flight from Amsterdam to JFK, which is a seven and a half hour flight, and it's packed. These airlines are brutal. I yeah. mean, like, your knees... There's just nothing. You nothing. Just, it's seven and a half hours, and I can't even like fit in the seat. It's you're crazy. Kaepernick, you're all knee. It's horrible. There's a lady, you know, a group of three girls, hot girls all in a row. Not hot, but attractive. Young uh-huh. ladies, early tw- mid-20s. The flight, as soon as they take off, the old man in front of her just moves his seat back, and the woman just goes, nope, nope. Whoa. Not happening. What? What insane I don't insane the thing goes back that's what they do exactly she goes not happening she goes we're all tall back here all she said all of us like he's gonna like he's moving to see back on all three of them right right she's like we all got together the three i'm like why first of all take responsibility it's you it's you and him your right. friends have nothing to do with right, this right right and he goes okay he goes well it's a long flight for me too he's like it's tight on me up here right. so i'm trying to get some room and she goes, it's not happening. She goes, it's too far. It's too long of a flight. Too, wow. too little of a space. She goes, I'm tall. We're all tall. What a coos. And the guy goes, all right, how about you push my chair up as far as you're comfortable with? <laughs> Which was pretty funny because he was nice. He was like, I'll move my seat up. But he put it on her of like, you move it to where you'd oh, like. So right. He goes, I'll press the button. You push me to where you can handle it. Oh, this guy's great. And she pushed it with both arms. What? Like, pushed him up and like put him to like, he oh, let it lean she, back she a little bit. killed. But we were like, that is... Hilarious. Sarah and I just hated her the whole time. Every time she got up, and then I would get farts and go crop dust. Uh, Sarah was like, go crop dust her. Yeah, so it was really fun. The whole it. flight, I kept crop dusting this bitch. What a skank. But um, what is that? I That's mean, insane. It's a weird time we're living in. Yes. I'm not saying, not gender, but uh, what do you call it? Generation to be like, nope, absolutely not. We t- 
And by the way, I don't move my seat back because I like to be the change I want to see in the world, you uh-huh. know, by calling random women bitches and, and farting on them. Sure. Uh, but, uh, but wait, isn't that the whole point? Like, you move a seat back, then the other person can move their seat back, and it's a domino effect. The seat reclines. That's the whole point. I know, but I don't like to move it back because I feel bad because it's a guy. I, I look who's back. If it's a kid or someone, whatever, I try not to move it back. I'll just go. I'll just deal with it. But the lady in front of me, she moved her seat back. She gave me a warning. She's like, I'm going to move my seat back. What? I go, okay. I didn't even know this was a thing. I thought it was just commonplace. You move the seat back. I feel bad moving the seat back. It depends what? on where I'm at. If it's extra leg room, I'll move back. Wow. I but didn't even some know of it, this was an issue. I feel guilty. So I thought that's what you do on a plane. You know, you, you move your seat back. You put your tray down. Like, are we going to stop the trays at some point? Where does it end? Still tray. But, yeah, I guess uh, it trays your world. Yeah, but uh, it was it was crazy. But whatever, what can you do? But uh, wow. this this whole thing of like you just deal with it. I've I've never told someone no, you can't move your seat back. That's I'm, insane to I've me. I've never even thought about it. Like somebody moves their seat back. I go, all right, I moved it, so I'll adjust my little screen. You maybe. adjust the screen. It sucks, but you fucking live with it. Wow. And for the most part, by the way, it doesn't affect the leg. Yes, exactly. The knee area stays the same. It's just exactly. close to your grill. So the the tall thing. Is actually a, a bullshit point because I'm taller than her. Right. And it sucks to have them back, but that only affects how close you are yes. to the TV screen. Yes, exactly.